Good morning. This is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A traffic stop led to a large drug bust in Hot Springs over a week ago. Police say it happened August 8th. The officer pulled the vehicle over for an equipment violation. Officials say the officer smelled something coming from the vehicle. Deputies from the Fall River County Sheriff's Office helped search the vehicle. Over 35 pounds of raw marijuana, 6 pounds of THC wax, and a large amount of money was found. Hot Springs police say the value of the bust is between $200,000 and $300,000. The two people inside the vehicle were arrested. Two people are behind bars in Minnehaha County after a high-speed pursuit ended in Yankton County. The Sheriff's Office says deputies responded to the pursuit just after 12.30 Wednesday afternoon. Authorities say it started in Minnehaha County. Yankton, Turner and Lincoln County deputies along with Highway Patrol troopers and DCI agents helped with the pursuit. 31-year-old Yvette Veo and 26-year-old Alicia Abdo were arrested. Charges are pending against them. The South Dakota Highway Patrol is investigating a crash in Sturgis that left one man dead. The South Dakota Department of Public Safety says it happened on I-90 just after 2.30 Wednesday afternoon. A semi was eastbound at mile marker 30 when it left the road toward the median while crossing a bridge. It hit the bridge and fell over into the median and onto a parked train. Two of the train cars derailed. The Meade County Sheriff's Office shared this photo of the scene. The 70-year-old driver was taken to the hospital where he later died. I-90 eastbound was closed for around two hours. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Better enjoy today because it's going to heat up, Scott. Oh, heat and humidity will soon return. Today, in the meantime, temperatures in the 70s across eastern South Dakota, Minnesota, and Iowa. Middle 80s today in central and western Kettleland, 85 in Pier, 87 in Rapid City. Heat and humidity set to return tomorrow. They'll probably last into next week with temperatures in the 90s and the 100s. More details on the Kettleland Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. A Sioux Falls mother is sharing her story after being asked to get out of a pool while she was breastfeeding last week. The city has since clarified that she didn't do anything wrong and said she shouldn't have been asked to leave. Although this is, an, uh, this is her first incident where someone made a comment about her feeding, as a mother, she knows this is a common complaint. I don't know what's going on, but whatever it is, something needs to change because, like, I mean... For me, as a, for me as a mother, like, I don't want someone to come up to me and say, oh, you can't do that. Because in a way, like, that's embarrassing. Like, you're drawing attention to me. She hopes that by sharing her experience, it'll bring more attention to the stigma surrounding mothers breastfeeding in public. The High Limit Spring Car Series made its first stop at Houston Speedway Tuesday night. NASCAR star Kyle Larson has started the A feature in 17th place and finished 6th just 72 hours after winning the Knoxville Nationals. In addition to driving, Larson is part owner of the High Limits series and happy to help the sport grow. It's definitely been good to see the last few years and I think it's going to continue to grow. So uh, I'm just excited to be a part of it. Glad to you know, help the sport out any way I can. And um, I think, I think the, the fans and competitors all, all appreciate it. Rico Abreu won the A feature and top prize of more than $23,000. You can learn about Kyle's connection to the local racing scene with this story on our website. Tensions are rising in Belfouche where a change in the source of corn for the annual Sweet Corn Festival is prompting questions and even spawning a separate event. For the past three years, Ron Kyle has been providing corn for the event for free. This year, he was informed that will, he will not be supplying the corn. The source of this year's corn remains unknown. The organizer says members of the committee are buying the corn from unnamed local sources and will then be donating the corn to the festival. Kyle, for his part, is opting to hold his own event on August 19th, the same day as the festival, and will give out his free corn there. You can find more details in a Kelloland.com original by Jacob Newton online now. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, weather outlook here the next couple of days. Let's look at, first of all, today's forecast. We've got uh, 50s this morning, 60s and 70s here as we go through the mid-morning. And really a nice afternoon, 77 Sioux Falls at 
3 o'clock. That should feel pretty good. Mid-80s there in Rapid City. And uh, dry skies, of course, going with this pattern. I do expect tonight we're going to drop back into mainly the 60s. And then tomorrow, well, look at the turnaround in western South Dakota. It's not going to take long. And we're going to be back to the century mark or higher. Very hot weather. Obviously, that's going to play a role there in the feels like temperature. Although West River tomorrow, we're still not dealing with a lot of humidity. So it's a little drier heat. That's why, why it can heat up so fast here. Now, in the pattern setup, let's go to this map. Uh, we've got an outlook here of high pressure. That's the core of the heat. So as it parks in the midsection of the country this weekend, uh, Saturday, we already have uh, heat index values in Sioux Falls forecast to be over 100. Sunday kind of bears watching a little bit because there is a disturbance that's going to ride out of Wyoming, kind of on the periphery of the heat. And that is looking better for western South Dakota to pick up a shot at showers and thunderstorms Sunday morning, possibly affecting us during the day on Sunday in northern South Dakota for Aberdeen, Mobridge, Sisseton. Sioux Falls, we've even been able to tone back the high just a little bit, and uh, we'll see if we can adjust those numbers maybe a little bit more. But at any rate, it looks like if we do get a bit, bit of a reprieve on Sunday, it's going to be short-lived because this heat expands Monday, Tuesday. Really, all of our modeling is forecasting 100 degrees or feeling like 100 or better for at least a set of days in there. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are all candidates for that kind of heat. Thursday, well, let's watch this low pressure area down in Texas. Why would we care about that? Well, if you follow the steering winds around this high pressure center, this feature could eventually get caught up into Colorado and then turn the corner Maybe it'll be an issue for Nebraska, maybe South Dakota. A little early on the exact trajectory of that, but the concept, I think, is certainly it merits some attention as it's probably going to be filled with some tropical moisture, which would be great to get some rain after a set of hot, dry days, which are obviously in these seven-day forecasts. So just something to think about there later down the road. And we'll, of course, be giving you updates on that in uh, upcoming forecasts. 74 today, Brookings, 74 degrees in Watertown. We've got a little haze, too, in the air in the west. I want to mention that quickly, too. Forecast lows tonight, 53 in Brookings. Not bad, but 70 the low and rapid. And then we're off to the races tomorrow in western South Dakota. 102 in Rapid City for high, 107 in Phillip. Uh, Piers at 103, Sioux Falls 87 with a strong south wind and then we're going to jump to 97 on saturday 94 sunday if you can call that cooler i don't think it's going to feel a whole lot better in at least the southeast folks here next week though monday tuesday wednesday really close to 100 and some of the days still will be fairly high on the humidity aberdeen is not as hot but we still have some 90s coming in saturday and monday Sunday, that chance of rain allows us to drop the temperature for a day. Pier, you're more into this hot belt, too. And especially if you're watching is south of Pier toward the Nebraska border, the intensity of the heat is going to be even worse. So we could be above 100 for a few days. And Rapid City is going to also fit into that heat wave here. 102 tomorrow, 96 Saturday. That chance of rain, though, is a positive story for at least some temporary relief. Check out the full details online at kevinland.com.